Andy and his posse. Hey, guys. <laughs> Look at this big guy. <laughs> you think you're a chihuahua too, bud. This lovable lug is Petey, and he loves strutting the streets with his pocket-sized puppy posse. He's just like them, cute, spunky, and tiny. Okay, maybe not the last one, but he doesn't seem to mind being the biggest. Petey just loves having a family. You see, Petey hasn't always been such a happy-go-lucky pity. Not long ago, this senior pity was living in a shelter. He thought he'd never get adopted or find a family until Shira came along. As soon as she saw that adorable face, she knew she had to get him out of that shelter and help him find a forever home of his own. All right. Hi, Petey. Freedom walk! You're out of here, Petey. You're out of here. You're not all the way in yet. Come here. Come here. Good job. Oh, there we go. Good job, Petey. For now, Shira was going to take Petey to a foster home, and Petey was so happy. He was finally out of the shelter and ready to start a new life. But Petey didn't realize that this new life was gonna come with some new friends, some new smaller friends. But as soon as he gave them a sniff, Petey didn't care what size they were. His new tiny pals were so nice. They were already like a family. And then Petey started to think, wait, maybe I'm a teeny tiny puppy too. <laughs> no, Petey, you're a big boy. All to say, Petey fit right in right away. He just kept getting happier and happier. There you go, Petey. Oh, you woke up. Yeah, the other one's really Good going morning. at it. When it came time for a meal, Petey would always politely wait his turn because he loved his itty bitty buddies like they loved him. No pushing in line, no matter what size he was. Right. Now we have wild and croissant. croissant. And now last, we have Petey. Such a patient Petey. young man. Yeah, isn't that amazing? The rest of them I have to like, no, no, stay away. We just wait. He just waits. Yeah, cause Petey's the best, especially when he's in his pity pajamas. Hmm, those look comfy. Can I borrow those, Petey? Eventually, it came time to find Petey his forever home. He was sad to leave his Chihuahua pals, but he was so excited to meet his new family. Excited to go to your forever home? Yeah. Come on. <gasps> Are you Petey? Right away, this was the right family for him. They were already giving him all the love in the world. You wanna stay? So sweet. Mm. Petey loved his new home and his new family, but he felt like it was missing something, a friend. He missed his teeny tiny pals from his foster home. But that's when his family had the best idea. Why have one pity when you can have two pities? Yep, that's right. Petey's new family called Shira back up and asked if she could find Petey a friend. And she did, Bella, who's also a senior Petey. Wow, this just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it, Petey? Petey and Bella were immediate besties. And now, these two can share all the love, happiness, and pity pajamas in their new forever home. I Hop the Pup was born without any front legs, but she was determined to get around anyway. Come here. She practiced walking every day. Come here. And soon, she was strong enough to stand and take little steps. But walking turned out to be really hard. It seemed like maybe she'd have to give up, but she didn't. She kept practicing until one day, it happened. She figured out how to hop. Now, I Hop the Pup can't be stopped. Oh, good girl. <laughs> and she didn't know it yet, but one day, all her practice know-how was gonna pay off big time. But we'll get to that later. It's 
good girl. She's a good girl. Oh, did we mention that IHOP happened to have the world's best cheerleaders? Hi, sweet girl. Hi. You see, taking care of a puppy like IHOP is a lot of extra work. Not everyone can do it. So IHOP needed to find a family who could. That's when Steph and Duke came along. They're dog rescuers who love helping special dogs like IHOP. They promised to foster her until she could find her forever home. But even though she loved living with them, something started to bother her. She didn't have any doggy friends, not one. And she wanted someone to play with. So Steph and Duke decided to help. They introduced IHOP to another rescue pup they were fostering, Millie. Maybe she was going to be IHOP's new best friend. But even though they both tried, the two of them just couldn't seem to get along. Be nice to one another, you two. Which made their play dates hard. And when they didn't become instant besties, IHOP was sad. What's wrong, IHOP? Would she ever find a true friend? But just a few days later, Steph and Duke volunteered to foster another special dog, a huge Great Dane named Waffles. Hi, sweet girl. Welcome. Waffles couldn't move her legs very much. She couldn't stand, walk, or hop. But she was looking for a friend, too. And even though IHOP was little and Waffles was huge, Steph and Duke thought, maybe. But IHOP wasn't so sure. IHOP, go. Go say hi. She was nervous. What if the same thing that happened with Millie happened with this new dog? But there was something special about Waffles. IHOP could see it in those big eyes of hers. Go get her, IHOP. So IHOP said, <laughs> and Waffles said, <laughs> and that's when IHOP did something super special. She gave Waffles a hug. Are you trying to play IHOP? <laughs> IHOP was like, uh, Mom, we are playing. And they were. <laughs> you guys are silly. You know this? Silly? Excuse me, we are having some very serious playtime, OK? But even though IHOP loved Waffles exactly how she was, Waffles wished she could hop around the way her best friend did. Because then, they could play together even more. So Steph and Duke got Waffles this, a wheelchair, just for her. But now Waffles was nervous. What if she couldn't make the wheelchair go? What if she fell? She wanted to walk, but this looked really hard. But IHOP knew exactly what to do because this was the day when all IHOP's practicing know-how paid off big time. She was like, you can do it, Waffles. You just need to practice. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. So IHOP hopped, and Waffles tried to follow. But it wasn't working. So she kept practicing with Steph and Duke's help, and IHOP kept cheering for her until she started to roll. IHOP was so happy for her. Now there were two unstoppable dogs at Steph and Duke's house. Which is when the rescuers realized these two pups were meant to be together forever. So Steph and Duke decided to adopt both of them. Now IHOP and Waffles help other foster dogs that come to stay with their parents by showing them anything is possible when you've got a true friend by your side. Like and subscribe for more.